my greatest challenge thus far is my greatest accomplishment, which is staying consistent. I have issues with staying consistent, so the fact that I am motivating myself and pushing myself to break out of this box to be the best me that I can be, that's my greatest accomplishment. And I'm so excited for more to come. I am Mars Mercury, host of Raw Art TV. I am soon to be on your TV screen. Bless. My journey so far has been a, a interesting one. I think I really started finding myself when I moved to New York City, being 19 years old and being by myself and not knowing anyone and not having a place to stay or a place to live. It made me grow up. It made me find myself. It made me meet people. It made me learn how to hustle in the hardest, quote unquote, I don't know, city in the universe to ever live. And to start from nothing and have nothing to amount to Shakar, <laughs> that's, that's, I don't know. It's already part of life, you feel me? Like, I'm just living with my destiny and I'm reaching the space of existence that already is made for me, you know what I mean? So I think living it is a testimony and is proof that you can actually do anything that you put your mind to or become who you're destined to be, you know? And it hasn't been easy, trust me. <laughs> it's hard. It's very hard. But I'm grateful for the journey and I'm still living the journey and, and I'm trusting the journey now. And I'd be laughing sometimes at the journey, you know? And um, I really take these moments and I value them and I cherish them. And I want to be able to say, wow, like I lived each and every day step by step. And I knew that I didn't miss a beat or I didn't miss a step, you know. And I think that's my process. It's evolving. It's changing. It's growing. It makes mistakes. It sins. It drinks. It parties. It sleeps. <laughs> you know, it works hard. It's lazy, you know. And I think that is what makes me me. And the fact that I can look myself in the mirror and say, bro, this is who you are. And despite secrets, despite what I battle, I feel like at the end of the day, I don't have to tell you why I'm on this mission. But the journey is in my music. The journey is in my art. The journey is in my performance. The journey is in my smile, you know? definitely a process I learned about like politics you know what I mean and just learning about like what it feels like to be competing against artists you know what I mean but also like understanding and valuing you and I haven't seen you since then so I didn't tell me again. <laughs> You know, it's so crazy because, like, I finally just got back from doing a European tour. Yeah, I opened up with some really cool artists over there. We hit London, we hit Paris, we hit Germany, we hit Amsterdam. And it's been a blessing. We fucking hit Croatia. You know what I mean? Because, like, I remember me coming here um, 2013. You know what I mean? And I, uh... Came here on a different path as an actor, you know, studying, you know, like theater and musical theater and Broadway. That was like the dream to be an actor, you know what I mean? It still is my dream, you feel me? So it was dope that I ended up on the music spectrum and I'm incorporating all of this because my school, I had like my tuition paid for it. Um, I just didn't have my housing taken care of, so they gave me a month to figure out my housing. I ended up kicking me out of my housing, and they ended up like 
allowing me to still stay in school, you know what I mean? And then I moved with a um, family relative who we eventually lost our place. And I moved back to Florida for a winter break. And everyone in Florida was like, yo, you gotta get back to the city. You gotta get back to the city. Bro, despite me being there and everyone telling me to stay in Florida, like, you know, stay working here, save up money, let's go back, whatever. She was like, nah, she passed me that, took the bus, 21 hours, first time in my life taking a long ass trip, and I came. And then from there, I was out here back. I'm gonna do music, and music is gonna take me and music, connecting me to you. So, Music connected me to my life right now, and it was hard because I was homeless for five months, you know, and I'm blessed that I have friends who allowed me to couch surf, who snuck me into their dorms, who just sacrifice they living situations because they believed in my dream, you know, and they believed in me. And I remember me always saying when I was younger, I wanted to be a starving artist, whatever that meant. And once I got into that place, it's like, bro, you starving, but you hungry. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're an artist. So that gave me all of the inspiration. That gave me all of the confidence to like live in the process, <laughs> and to accept the process, and to be the process, and to own the process. So after I started doing that, I got into label shit, started my own label, whatever, head in the clouds, goals, breathless, you know, Alpha Pump out of the Vans, Hall of Marks Festival, all of these things. And I took a year off, and in that year off, I recorded 40 songs. And the 40 songs turned down to 18. 18 turned down to nine. No. Yes, because I did a volume one, volume two. I ain't tell nobody yet. But I broke it down and I made it to six. And now things are on the drawing table because like meetings, you know, I, I've been having with like labels and executives. And I keep doing this a lot because like quotations is like the quote. You know what I mean? It's a quotation. So like it's the quote that society feels like you gotta have those things to like actually achieve, which isn't true. You know, and I learned that about being on tour and saving my voice, losing my voice, and needing water, and I'm pure vegan, not having sex, not listening to none of these artists and focusing on my art because my art is what's iconic. My art is what reflects my inner self. My art is the battle, it's the struggle, it's the joy, it's the pain, it's the love, it's the hurt, it's the secret. You know what I mean? And like, since the last time I saw you, that's what I've been on, you know? So I find Finally, been able to finalize my product, and I have something to give to the world. I'm super excited to share it with you know, and I think that it's been a blessing to meet people and lose people and value people and take people for granted because now I feel like I know what it's like to be on a process that's not over, on a process that just started. I'm 23. I've been doing music for three years now and it's moving faster and I'm honored because I get the opportunity. I did Off-Broadway, I did short films, feature films on the table. We got the modeling campaigns happening. We got the Obama commercial that came out. People hitting me up like, bro, I see you on She Gotta Have It in the back. And that was embarrassing because people just saw me. You know what I mean? But the love, it taught me like, bro, this is what it's gonna be like when people see you and they look up to you and they want you to be the voice for black men and brotherhood and unifying and the fellowship of love and just like self-discipline and self-love and creating to the higher power we are from, you know? And all of that, I created Beautiful Pain, which will be my next EP. And I'm excited because there's videos that tells my story, there's photos that tell my story, there's songs that tell my story. And I think all of it has to do with my process and me learning what my process is first. You know? It's so cool because now I'm in Baltimore. You know what I mean? Like now I'm like in a yeah, like now I'm like it was I was nervous to take this move, but it was 
like, this is something I gotta do, you know? Like, in order for me to grow, I have to get out of my comfort zone. So now I'm here, like, I did my fifth Welcome to My Business segment. Like, I got so many different segments, like, on my YouTube channel, and the views are, like, up there. It's like, you know, it's beautiful. I feel so blessed, because it's like, I'm providing this platform for people to just, like, express themselves. Like, as an artist, like myself, like, I know what it's like, you know what I mean? Like, as a creative, you know, you feel like you don't have that support, or you just, you just feel a little unsupported, really, and it's like, like, the fact that I can provide this, like, it's beautiful. Yo, next year, I'm gonna be in fucking California. Like, yo, it's... You out here, yo. Raw art it's, everywhere. Yeah, raw art everywhere. And that's the goal. Like, that's the goal, man. I So, look, check this out, right? I submitted to this Swiss beat, um, 20 Deans list. He's basically given $5,000 to 20 different people to start an art show. And I submitted he reached out to me what like yo all you had to do was write a business plan yo i remember sitting in my room and i'm like yo i don't know how to write no business plan i have to look at youtube videos i'm about to figure this out but i did it and i made it like and i got that five thousand dollars and i'm also in school like studying film and production like this is dope you know what i mean i remember coming back to new york when i used to live in baltimore i came back for fashion you know, people always like my style, but fascinating for me, like, I, I'm a humanitarian, like, I'm here to help, I'm here to serve, I'm here to be of support to others, and the fact that I can do that is beautiful, like, yeah, the fact that I'm doing it is beautiful, like, yo, I, it's so crazy, like, I have reached out to Narwire, you ever heard of Narwire? If anybody ever heard of Narwire, <laughs> yo, if anybody ever heard of Narwire, like, He's like the king, in my opinion, of this interview and shit. You feel me? Like, he brings up things that you wouldn't even expect. So I'm gonna interview him. I'm gonna find out, like, how he get his, like, how did you find out all these things about these different people? Like, where is your source? You know what I mean? Like, how do you, what what makes you get this? You know what I mean? Like, how do you, how do you find these people? I'm so grateful. Like, I'm so happy. Like, I am touring with Raw Art TV. That is what I'm doing. Like, and I made it. Like, you don't understand. Like, yo, I remember sitting in my room, right? And I just used to be like, yo, what is art? Like, I ain't no artist. I'm calling myself an artist, but I ain't doing nothing. You feel me? But art is whatever you want it to be. Art is, yeah, like art, I'm living it. You know what I mean? Like art is whatever I deem it to be. And this is my form of art. This helped me to create more art in different forms like i'm painting i'm out here speaking poetry motivating. you know what i mean like i'm out here motivating like that is oh my god i feel so blessed you know and it's like i i, I feel so blessed it's, it's so much i don't even know how to really describe it because i just know that i'm blessed and i know where i'm going and i know that I am gonna be that idol. I am gonna be that icon. I am gonna leave a legacy. I'm gonna do what I gotta do, in which I'm doing. Yo, we out here. <laughs> Yo, for real, man, I'm telling you, like, my mother, she proud of me. My little brothers, they proud of me. Like, I'm setting that tone, setting that bar, so they know that they don't have to give up. You don't have to be a product of your environment. You just gotta do what you gotta do for you. If you, if you gotta do, you gotta go and pursue it. Period. Don't settle. Don't be stuck in the hood. If you're gonna be stuck in the hood, it's only gonna keep you in the hood. You know what I mean? Like you gotta go elsewhere and venture out. Like, and that's what I'm doing. So next year in California, it's lit. Like I met this girl named King Key. You feel me? Like she told me, she's like, once I come out there, she gonna put me on. And I'm interviewing artists out there, and I'm gonna just go all around the United States, and then out the country, holla at a pimp, you feel me? Out the country, like, oh man. I just already know, like, this is destined to be. Like, I feel so great, I feel so blessed, and I'm so grateful. Thank you, <laughs> you know? I'm just so grateful and so blessed, like, so grateful and so blessed. And I'm living in the process, like, you know, like sometimes we fought ourselves because our dreams are bigger than what we, 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 we think we can't amount, amount to, you know what I mean? But it's like, you are that. 
already. It's already embedded in you. You just gotta take the steps further to get there. Regardless, stay consistent, stay dedicated, and know why you started. That is the most important part. You gotta know why you started, man. I always got, yeah, like I always gotta remind myself, I always gotta tell myself, yo, why did you start this? Like, you don't wanna struggle no more. You don't wanna be starving no more. Like, you can't, you can't. Like, at some point, you reach where you just gotta let go and be free. And I'm real, authentic, world art. And I'm living in the process, baby. And that process is freaking lit. You heard me? <laughs> Yo, I like love, 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 love. Yo, and the crazy part is, is like, that shit made me want to fucking cry. Cause I'm like, damn, I want your mother to <laughs> No. Like, I'm like, you're my dog, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, oh that was real, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.